welcome back to another episode of Black Icons. Don't forget to subscribe, like and hit notify. And if you haven't done so already, watch the previous episodes in this series. Today the subject of the video is the legendary boxer and civil rights activist and orator Muhammad Ali. Born Cassius Clay Jr. on the 17th of January 1942 in Louisville, Kentucky, USA. At the time, the southern states in particular and the USA as a whole were deeply racist and a young Cassius Clay had to negotiate the many pitfalls of his oppressive environment. At the age of 12, he took up boxing and excelled as an amateur, going on to win a gold medal in the 175 pound division at the 1960 Olympic Games in Rome. Even back in these early days of his career, his trademark personality and charisma began to make waves even more than his boxing ability. His iconic phrases like float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, have become part of boxing legend. Clay's unconventional boxing style frustrated and angered many boxing purists, but his ability was undeniable. On the 25th of February 1964, Clay fought Sonny Liston for the World Heavyweight Championship of the World, and in one of the most dramatic upsets in boxing history, Sonny Liston retired in the sixth round due to being outclassed comprehensively. Soon after winning the World Heavyweight title, while the world was still in awe of his surprise victory, Muhammad Ali further shocked and surprised the establishment by joining the Nation of Islam on March the 6th, 1964. He took the name Muhammad Ali, which Elijah Muhammad, the leader of the Nation of Islam, gave him. He became a prominent speaker on civil rights and the oppression of black people in the United States. Simultaneously for the next few years, Muhammad Ali asserted his control over the weight division, convincingly defeating his rivals. However, this wasn't to last. On the 28th of April, 1967, Ali refused the draft to fight in the Vietnam War, stating religious beliefs as his reason. The American establishment and the Boxing Commission turned against him, stripping him of his world title and banning him from boxing in the USA for three and a half years. The court sentenced him to five years incarceration, which was later overturned unanimously on appeal by the US Supreme Court. During this period, Ali became an outspoken civil rights activist, appearing on multiple interviews and chat shows. Ali was eventually allowed to resume boxing and in one of the most hyped and iconic fights in boxing history, the Rumble in the Jungle held in Zaire, he defeated George Foreman on the 30th of October 1974 in the 8th round by knockout to regain the world heavyweight title. Truly a great athlete, Ali was voted Sportsman of the Century by the BBC. Unfortunately, Ali suffered from Parkinson's disease in his latter years, dying on June the 3rd, 2016 in Arizona, leaving a legacy unrivaled in boxing till the advent of Iron Mike Tyson many years later. He was truly a great fighter, a great man, a great speaker, and definitely a great black icon. Thank you for watching.